Now that we've looked at how to create polygon geometry, let's go ahead and start talking a bit about polygon editing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up to the hotbox. I'm going to go to top view. And we're going to use the same process uh, from the last video to create a few reference curves, which we're going to build some polygons around. And then we're going to begin to talk about some of the polygon editing tools. So I'm going to go up to create. CV curve tool and I'm just going to start drawing just a sh couple of shapes draw one hide the grid uh, if you do alt B we can change the background color to make it a little bit easier to tell where where we are with the curves so you can hit G again to start another another curve If you do uh, control Z or command Z, this will get rid of the last curve point you added. Hit G again. I'm going to draw some from here. Hit G one more time. Add one more here. And let's add another one over here. It's probably fine. Sure. Um, I have one more actually. And you can at any time highlight the curve and hold right uh, the right mouse button and go to the control vertex and begin to change some of the positions of these if you want. Also select some and delete them if you'd like. And just to get just a kind of quick example here. So this is probably fine for now. And so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to use the method of uh, specifying just the one polygon and extruding it along the curve. And we're going to use that as a, a sort of template to begin to work around. So let's go up to create polygon primitive, plane, and make sure interactive creation is turned off. And we can go into our inputs to the creation node of polyplane 1 and change the subdivision width and height. We'll make that 1 again. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to move this, this plane roughly to this anywhere near the kind of start of this curve here. And we can scale it down a bit if we'd like. So that's fine. And let's go ahead and open the outliner. Go up to Window, Outliner. And we'll make the first extrusion. So we're going to select the polygon plane. Hold right click. And go up to Edge. Select the edge, shift select the curve, and then go up to edit mesh, extrude. And we can hit 5 to display it in shaded mode. And once again, you'll notice that it, we're just shooting from the start to the end. So we can go over to our poly extrude node and go down to divisions and specify a number. Or click the divisions and interactively drag by holding middle mouse button and going left to right. So this is probably fine here. Another uh, option that we have with the, the extrude node, we can go down to the taper, which is two below divisions here on the right side. 
And if we change it to zero, you'll notice that it starts from the original size and tapers down to zero. The default is one. If you make it two, then it goes twice as big at the end. If you do 0.5, then it will go down like so. So it's another feature that we can begin to look at. So that's fine. We'll, do, we'll leave this one here for now. And we'll hold right click and go up to object mode to get out of the component mode. So we can select the polygon instead of its components. And let's go over to the blue box of the white lines to enable or under shading wireframe unshaded to enable the uh, wireframe being displayed along with the shaded. So now that we've created this kind of first uh, spine here, what we want to do is either build out from this point along this curve or we want to go ahead and just pick the, basically the main lines that we're going to start from and just build from there. So instead of going up to create and making a new primitive, we can select uh, this face here. So if you hold right click and go down to face, select the face, there's a command that's called duplicate face, which you can find under uh, edit mesh. And what duplicate, fa uh, duplicate face is going to ex not extract, but it's going to duplicate that face uh, on top of the uh, existing polygon there. So you'll have the original polygon and then just that face as a, as a uh, duplicate. So under edit mesh, we're going to go down and duplicate face. And you see that now you've, in your outliner, your P plane one is now changed and you have both poly surface one and poly surface two along with the transform node uh, on, top of, on top of itself here. So if we select the poly surface two and we hit W, we can drag this out of this group by holding middle mouse button and just dragging it out. So now it's not in the same group. So we can select it based on the outliner because otherwise if you try to select it, you would select both of them together and you have to then deselect one versus the other. So now we start to get a little bit cleaner uh, navigating with the outliner. Because otherwise you'd have to select one versus the other where you can just select it with the outliner, which is a cleaner process. So let's go ahead and just select that and drag it out. And this is nice because you, you can either duplicate the face. If you have a specific set that you want to uh, duplicate or extract from, you can do that instead of uh, having to recreate the faces altogether. And I'll show you the extract uh, command in, in a little bit here. But... So let's go ahead and do the same process for this one. We'll select this edge, shift select the curve, go up to edit mesh, and go to extrude. Same process, let's add some more divisions here. is probably fine. We seem to have lost the uh, the shader for this, and that's enough. That's totally fine. Go to Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade, and you will get your Hypershade window that's going to pop up. And we're going to talk about this a bit later, but for now, um, if this happens, you can just open the Hypershade, select the polygon, and go to the Lambert one, which is the assigned material, and hold right click and assign it to the to the polygon. So now that we have this, let's actually go back into the inputs and turn down some of the divisions. So that's fine. So now let's go ahead and do the same process for these two here. So I'm going to select this face. I'm going to go up to Edit Mesh, down to Duplicate Face. I'm going to hit W, and instead of selecting all of it, I'm going to go to the outliner. 
I'm going to drag this group out. I'm going to expand that and drag that face out. And I'm going to move it here. Same process, I'm going to select the edge, go up to Edit Mesh, Extrude, Divisions, I'm going to set that to 15. And this keeps happening here. I just deleted all the history here. I selected everything and you can go up to edit, delete by type, history. One more time, edit mesh, duplicate face, find the face in the group, pull it out. I'm gonna select the group and the face and go to edit. Delete by type, history, delete the history on that guy. And I'm going to move this one here. I'm going to grab this edge, shift select the curve. And go up to Edit Mesh, Extrude, one more time. Go to Divisions, set it to 10, 20 is fine. 10 or 20 is probably fine for this. And we'll deal with this uh, post. Instead of duplicating the face this time, I'm going to go over and uh, go to Create Polygon Primitive Plane. I'm going to grab this guy, put it over here. Then I'm going to go into my inputs again and turn down the divisions to one. I'm going to hold it, get the edge, shift, select the curve, go to edit mesh extrude, and do this process again. I'm going to add a little bit of a taper here. 15, let's do 20 on this guy. Okay. So I'm going to go to object mode. Anytime you can also go up top here. If you're in component mode, you can go up to the top and shift over to object mode. So that's fine. So as we mentioned before, uh, there is a history that's still linked between the curves and the polygons. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of this here since I don't need the history anymore for this guy and I'm gonna go to edit delete by type history now that the history is gone we don't need to uh, deal with keeping that attached anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of cleaning this up a tiny bit here and I'm just gonna rename I'm gonna get all of these guys and put them in their own group so I'm going to just pull these guys out. I'm going to control G to group all these uh, base polys. And then the curves are fine here. So we're going to use these curves to start to set up a secondary uh, set of uh, polygons here and so I'm going to go ahead and start from this guy and just select this edge shift select the curve edit mesh extrude and go over and add some divisions here and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to hit G to repeat the command and I'll taper this out a bit too. And 
and let's add a couple of curves here. So I'm going to go up to create CV curve tool. Add one there. And I'm going to hit G and add another one here. Actually, I'm going to add this guy. Actually, no, I don't like that one. I'm just going to go ahead and do it from here. And I'm going to select, go back to object mode, select the polygon, go up to the edge, shift select the curve. And we can deal with this intersection uh, later on. Go back to object mode. Grab that guy, shift select the curve. Actually, let me fix this here. Select the edge. Shift select the curve and go to extrude. And you will notice that there's going to be this little kink here, which we can deal with a bit later and taper that down. Sure. That's fine for now. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select all this one more time and go to edit, delete by type, history. And I'm going to select these polygons. And I'm going to fix this little display issue. Okay. So we have these polygons here that we've now created, and they're all uh, separate polygons and I'm going to actually go up to show and turn off the display for polygons and just take the curves and put them in a layer we'll call those curves and just turn them off go back up to show and make sure that the polygons are visible so we've now created these polygons and we want to start to then find ways to stitch across. We're going to try to add some depth here. Uh, right now, these are just planes. And, but the first thing we need to do is we need to combine these. So we're going to go ahead and select these. You can select them by based on the group. And we can go up to Mesh Combine. And now you see that we have one, if you look at your outliner, you now have Poly Surface 7, which is now this uh, polygon that's been combined. These poly surfaces have been combined. And once we've done that, we want to go back and delete the history. So now you see all the, I'm going to undo that. So you see all the history was uh, deleted. Delete by type, history. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to start going across and stitching some areas here and start to clean this up a tiny bit, kind of change a little bit how how some of these curves flow, how, how some of this polygons flow, sorry. And uh, we're going to combine this, start stitching across, we're going to merge it, we're going to mirror it, and we're going to do a couple of different uh, little techniques to get just one kind of cohesive piece here. So let's continue in the next lesson.